I've imagined this day for as long as I can remember, from the dress to the venue to the songs we'll be dancing to later tonight. All of these details have been planned out in my mind for years. But even with all of this planning, I could have never planned you. Courtney, I struggled for hours trying to write these vows, not because I lacked a million different ways to tell you how much I loved you, but because every version of my wedding vows came out sounding like a song. After wrestling with this over and over, it finally hit me. Maybe that's how this was always meant to be. I knew you were special since the first time we met, but I'll let you know that two separate days, I knew you were the one for me. On the very first night after Hannah's accident, I stayed up all night next to her and felt so alone. Everyone in my life was reaching out, but the only person I wanted to talk to was you. So when I called you again in the middle of the night, you answered and you listened. You've always been there for me, no matter what, where, when, the weather, or how long it had been. I've always felt safest with you, and there is no one I would rather enjoy this life with, and no one I'd rather work through these difficult moments with. You see, our story, the story of Courtney and James, has played out like a beautifully sung poem from the very start. There was an exciting and captivating introduction, verse after verse of harmony and adventure, and just when you think it's all over, a faint note is heard, rapidly building into the most incredible second act that the world has ever known. A personal favorite selection from the song of you and I are the following lyrics. No matter the year, whenever you're near, it's 2016 and it's snowing. The light's gone to rest, but you're glowing. We'd only just met, but I knew we would get to where our forever was going. I made it too far. I vow to fill every day of our lives together with beautiful music. My pitch may not always be perfect, the notes may not always be in the right key, and don't get me started on my lack of rhythm. But should you ever feel lost, like you can't find your way to the next line, I will always be right beside you, lifting you up, harmonizing and helping, so that we may continue writing this beautiful song, the song of you and I, for years to come. I love you. I promise to work every day to show you how much I love you. I promise to be a safe space for you that you can count on to never shy away from the gentle love you need and deserve. I'm beyond excited to become your family and you mine. I love you forever. At last, having pledged your love, respect, and commitment to one another in the presence of this gathering and by the authority vested in me by the state of California through the Universal Life Church, it is my great honor to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.
Congratulations, Courtney. You're married the best man that I know. James is handsome, and James is humble, and James is Yeah, honor, honor. James is caring, and James is kind, and James is. Oh, All right, I'm gonna just stop right here, James. I cannot read your hand. Right <laughs> Court, I know so much about you, but if I know one thing for sure, is that you've always been obsessed with weddings. Movie wedding scenes, proposals, say yes to the dress. These are a few of your favorite teenage things. And yes, you are a lover of sparkles, a lover of glam, a lover of diamonds, but ultimately you are a lover of love. It's clear now that your teen obsession was a deep desire to be seen, loved unconditionally, and experience the beauty of moving through life with a special person. I'm so glad that you have found that in James. And James, you are so lucky to have all the love in this girl's heart because there's a lot of there. This is from Hannah. Congratulations, James and Courtney. James, I honestly never imagined there would be someone who could keep up with, uh, I mean, put up with, I mean, love my sister the way that you do. Thank you for cheering me on in whatever I chose to do. From sharing hot Cheetos, coming downstairs together on Christmas morning, to talks about life and boys, to adventures that mom and dad will never know about. Your secret is safe with me? What? Oh, okay. To making me smile by flopping yourself onto my bed, fake coughing to make me laugh, never giving up hope for me and being the sister I have needed to keep me motivated. I am blessed to call you sister. I love you forever, my sister. My egg. I pray that God will bless your marriage and I love you both so very much. Hannah. Searching for a brighter day Leaving yesterday behind oh, oh. Looking forward into the Guys.